So, hi guys. So, my name is Claudia Van Dyke, and I am a student in modular technology. But, um, so today I wanted to show you this amazing African wild dog I made using an awesome website called Tinkercad. So, I'm just going to do a simple tutorial as this project did take, um, a few days to make, and it is over, it's about 100, uh, about 100 pieces. I think the total was like 98 or something. And so, yeah. So, I've already started with the paws. As you can see, um, these paws have already all been aligned. I've grouped them together. So hopefully by now you have made your little wedges. Um, they're placed about right here. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but it'll do for right now. Them to this color um, because my animal does have brown legs. Um, since he has multiple different colored legs, I did multiple different colors. But you can do whatever colors you really feel like you need to do. I'm going to duplicate this again, and I'm going to move it out. Then I have another one to work with, I can get to later. So I'm going to select all of these now, again, and I'm going to group them all. This time it didn't load as long, probably because I've already done it before. Um, I ungrouped everything in mine so you can see where the holes came in and all that, um, such as down here. Let me see if I can get it to focus on here. If you ever need it to focus on a certain part, you just hit um, the view to selection, and then you have a nice good view of this. Um, see the triangles I ended up cutting out of his um, ankles. So it looks more realistic. For the nose, if you're going to do a nose like this, you're going to want to see, can you go back to basic shapes. Um, there is a heart shape right here. If you just lay your heart shape um, like flat on the ground and put two little holes there so it has like a little nostrils in it, like if you saw a dog or maybe even a cat. So for the body. I'm going to fit that one of you. If you look at the body, um, what I did for the basic shape was I took just a big um, sphere and I turned that into a rectangle so it fit perfectly in between the legs. The tail, the basic structure, took about three different parts. Um, if you use a cylinder for those, you get a rounded out tail. You start with one long piece here, um, connecting to right on his back, just like any other animal tail would. Then you take a smaller cylinder right here and attach that there, kind of like we, what we did with the legs. Um, and then for the end, I ended up taking a little um, paraboloid and I put that right there. For the little muzzle, I also took a sphere. As you've not probably noticed, there are a lot of spheres in this project. The eyes are like anything else. You just take a sphere, you end up flying it out, but you keep the initial circle shape in the front. For the ears, 
I took a half sphere like this, kind of expand your knowledge by trying out things yourself. But if you just follow like the basic structure, then add the detail later because the detail is the hardest part and if you mess up on the detail then it's just hard to come back from that if you don't have the basic shape on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope your animals turn out just as well as this one did.